All right, everyone. Welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. I just wanted to show a little egg float test. You can do this at home. Um, I had to use a big enough jar or container here to fit all of them so you can see them side by side. Um, I don't have a specifically a bad egg because a bad egg would actually be floating to the top, but I'll just show you what a good egg looks like in the egg float test. So this one sunk immediately as soon as I dropped it in. And as you can see, it's laying on its side. And then um, if I turn here, these two, this one, I believe it looks like um, is actually starting to go bad because as it shifted, you can see that it kind of leans to the side just a bit. Um, and then this one is one that is going bad. Still probably good, but I wouldn't recommend eating one. Um, now, up close, this doesn't necessarily look like it's hard to tell which is the top, but that is actually the top, the pointy part of the egg. So it's actually sitting upside down. I dropped it in <clears throat> uh, normally, uh, the, like how you normally would bottom, bottom first, and it turned on its head like that. Now, if I had a bad egg, like I said before, it would be floating here at the top. That egg, you would want to throw out. So I just wanted to do a quick egg float test here with my own eggs. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a completely bad egg. Um, all these, uh, and I wouldn't, in my opinion, I wouldn't eat this one, but the others are also okay to eat. Actually, I wouldn't eat that one either because as you can see, there's some air pockets there, which means there's a hairline crack and as you can see, air is escaping because that there is a bu bubble there that, that starts to generate as the egg ages. So that means that the air pocket is being released slowly. Um, but that's it. I uh, hope this was helpful. Um, let me know in the comments below if you tried this egg float test or, um, and, and what your guys' thoughts are. Have a great day.